Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Mary Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Royal Decree 67 for the year 2016, appointing Judge Mahmoud Arabi Mohammed Hashim as chairman of the Committee of Settlement and Stalled Real Estate Development Projects with the membership of Judge Amal Ahmed Abdullah Abul, following the finished term of Chancellor Sameh Mohammed Fahmi Amr and Judge Dr. Muna Jassim Mohammed Al Kuwari. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sikhir Palace former Minister of Family and Population and Egypt's nominee for the post of Director General of the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, Dr. Mushira Khattab, who delivered a written letter for the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the historic brotherly relations between the Kingdom and Egypt and affairs of mutual interest. Dr. Khattab stated her first nomination tour for the post in the Kingdom of Bahrain and conveyed the Egyptian President's greetings and wishes for health to His Majesty the King and prosperity and development for the Kingdom. His Majesty welcomed Dr Khattab and commended the deep-rooted bilateral relations and historic ties. He also pointed out its significant role in developing the scientific and cultural movement. His Majesty then asked Dr Khattab to convey his greetings to the Egyptian president and his wishes for more prosperity to the Egyptian people. He affirmed the Kingdom is an effective partner in the international endeavour led by the United Nations to maintain regional and global peace and build a and protect cultural and civil heritage, which supports human rights and the Sustainable Development March. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to reinforce the efforts of the UN humanitarian activities based on its history of peaceful coexistence, cultural openness and protection of Arab and Islamic heritage. His Majesty pointed out Bahrain's pride in its effective participation in UNESCO by hosting the Regional Centre for Information and Communication Technology and the Arab Regional Centre for World Heritage and presenting His Majesty with the UNESCO Award. Dr Khattab expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's keenness to strengthen bilateral relations and wished Bahrain more prosperity and advancement under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace today the American Ambassador to the Kingdom, William Roebuck. He reviewed historic bilateral relations and the development of mutual cooperation in all fields and affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to support those relations to further develop them with the benefit of both countries and their people. His Majesty also noted the role of the US in supporting international efforts to maintain peace and stability in the region and assist in world peace issues. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace today the Chief Executive of the National Space Science Agency, NSSA, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Asiri, who briefed His Majesty on the achievements made by the agency and the measures taken to enhance national capabilities in the field of space science. His Majesty hailed the ongoing cooperation between the National Space Science Agency and prominent space agencies and scientific research institutions, including the UAE Space Agency, which come under the MOU signed on the sidelines of the Bahrain International Air Show 2016. He also praised the role of the agency in enhancing national calibers and in serving and enhancing the Kingdom's position in this field. Dr. Ayla Siri briefed His Majesty the King on plans and projects implemented by the agency, as well as its future plans and steps taken to enhance natural, national calibers throughout cooperation with UAE in this field, in order to achieve developmental goals. His Majesty the King praised the plans implemented by the agency, its future projects and training programs, and its efforts to enhance cooperation with the UAE in the field of space sciences. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to improve in all fields in order to benefit its people, wishing the Chief Executive of the NSSA every success in serving his country. Dr. Al Asiri stressed the importance of space science studies in enhancing the national the nation's culture, education, industrial development and economic progress. He praised Bahrain's expertise in their contributions towards exchanging expertise with several countries, especially GCC countries. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qudaybiya Palace a number of royal family members, officials and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness stressed the need for more awareness regarding Arab issues, including attempts threatening its security and stability. He said the Arab nation is facing international and external threats and called for strengthening joint Arab action in order to maintain all gains. He also warned against dangers facing Arab and Islamic nations, saying such dangers should be confronted collectively rather than individually. His Royal Highness added, it is regretful to see Arabs being killed and inter-Arab struggles are increasing due to politics which seek to draw the region into this destiny, pointing out it is high time to strengthen solidarity and unify stances. He praised the patriotic stances and the achievements made by the people of Bahrain, affirming they would be documented in Bahrain's history and be a guide for future generations. He also affirmed the government will continue its march of progress in various fields in order to benefit the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasised the importance of enhancing cooperation among the GCC countries in order to strengthen joint Arab action and Arab stances, in order to face political, security and economic challenges, as well as dangers facing the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiya Palace today the Director of the Gulf Centre for Strategic Studies, Dr. Omar Al Hassan, who presented His Royal Highness with a copy of the centre's new publication, a book entitled Khalifa bin Salman, Leadership That Made History. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of documenting events. He said Bahrain has experienced important events and been through hard times. However, through cohesion and cooperation between the leadership and people, the Kingdom has succeeded in overcoming these events and safeguarding peace, security and stability. He also noted that the great achievements and accomplishments made during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and the deceased Amir should all be documented for future generations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister valued the efforts made by the Centre in researching and documenting the march of civilization and development of the Kingdom, commending everyone who worked on the book. Dr. Omar Al Hassan stressed that His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa is a symbol of the Islamic and Arab nation, highlighting His Royal Highness's efforts in defending Muslim and Arab interests in every forum. He also noted that His Royal Highness contributed significantly to the prosperity and development of the country, and all of his achievements should be documented. And with that, it's time to hand you over to Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Michael. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain TV. Bahrain Al Share Index closed at 1,138.48 points, rising 2.67 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly the commercial banks with 59% of total shares. 72 transactions included 3,894,409 shares, worth 515,999 BD.